Hey there, welcome back. In this part 3 of the series, I'm going to show you how you can transform this Reddit scraper into an actual bot that will first log in as any user you specify and then post something on behalf of you. So, let's get straight into this and let me show you how you can actually do this. As you can see right here, I have the code from the last videos. This is just a basic scraper with Puppeteer that we did to scrape any of the subreddit that you want. So if you didn't already check those videos, you can go check that out in my channel. So here's what we're going to do first. I'm going to start to separate a bit those functions that we did right here to be able to more uh, cleanly work with the login that we are going to do. So firstly, I'm going to cut this line right here and make sure I put it right here on the get results function and also the initialize function i'm going to leave it empty without any parameters just to initiate the browser and the page and i'm going to introduce here the subreddit parameter and basically this is going to handle by itself the go to function the opening of the subreddit url so this is what we need to do right here after that we can just go back to the index.js file remove the node parameter from here and introduce it right here just like this now let's go back to the reddit.js file and start to create a new function named login this is going to be an async function that is going to take the username the password and that's basically it so first off we want to go to the index page of the reddit make sure it loads up properly and it's ready to go and for this line, I'm going to copy this one right here and I'm going to create another constant right at the top, which is going to be the Reddit URL. And I'm not going to use any parameters right here. And this is basically the index of Reddit. And I'm going to copy this, use it at the login. And now also we need to put the comma right here. And let's start first to go on the old.ready.com page to see how we can handle the login. As you can see right here, we have the username and the password input fields. We just need to write the username and the password right here, then click login. That's basically it and it will handle itself. So. Let's right click inspect on this. Make sure to open this DevTools up a bit more. Put it right here. And as you can see, we have an input with the name of user. I'm going to copy this line right here. And I'm going to start to write the code right here. So we want to write in the username and password. For this, we are going to use self.page.type type is the function that takes the actual selector so we want the input that has the name of username and also we want to write in the actual username that we specify from the function and also i'm going to give it a small delay of 30. this is basically going to slow down the actual typing so it seems more like a an user and then i'm going to copy this line paste it right here and let's check out the password input which is passwd so i'm going to put it right here change the variable and this is basically it we are going to write the username and password and now what we want to do is go back in the browser see what selector we have for the login button so for the login button as you can see we have the submit class right here and also the button class of button nothing really specific so in this case i'm going to easily copy and copy selector go back in the code and right here i'm going to say click on the login button await self.page click and we are going to specify this login selector button okay this part is pretty straightforward we write the username, the password, and we click on the button to log us in. But we also need to check 
if we are logged in and if the login didn't fail. So let's go back in the Reddit page and let's check out if we write a random username and password what happens. I'm going to click on the login, it waits a bit and then it returns a wrong password message. Here is what I'm going to do with this. Again, it can be handled multiple ways, but I'm going to show you this one because it's a bit more faster. So right click inspect on the wrong password text. As you can see right here we have the div element with the class of status error. This is present when you click and something wrong happens, just like this, a wrong password for example, and we want to check if this div element exists and if it doesn't exist then we want to wait for something different because we are going to log in. So let me show you what this means. Basically I'm going to copy this class of status error, go back right here and I'm going to say check if any error has happened. So we are going to say let error equals and we are going to await self oh shit we are going to await self dot page dollar and here I'm going to put in the class of status error and in front of it I'm going to say that it's a div if error if this error is present and it's not null then we want to say console.log username failed to log in and to complete this part I want to also get the actual message that shows in the website so right here I'm going to say let error message just like this and I'm going to say await error.get property and we want to get the inner text and then basically on this await I want to do another await and I want to get the JSON value. This is basically going to return the actual text. Right here I'm going to say console log error from the website error message just like this. Perfect. And also right here after we click the button we want to wait just a bit until we have the actual error displayed on the screen. So I'm going to say await self.page and I'm going to wait for two seconds let's say. This is not an ideal solution but it works for the moment because I'm going to change it after we first give it a test. So I'm going to save it right here and go back to the index and after we initialize I want to say await reddit.login and I'm going to give it some random strings right here make sure it throws up an error and I'm going to save it and also comment out these lines because we don't need them anymore and let's see what happens. So I'm going to run this with the debugger and let's see what happens. Okay, it writes out the username and the password and also it stops in the debugger. Let's see what we have in the debug console and as you can see QVE failed to log in error from the website, wrong password. Perfect, looking good. I'm going to stop it. And now what we want to do is actually log in to the Reddit page and I'm going to use my account. Okay, so why am I logged in right now? I want to see which is the selector for the logout button. This is a pretty easy and common way to check if the user is logged in to check for the logout button because the logout button or the logout link will not show up if you are not logged in. Pretty straightforward. So right click inspect and let's see what we have right here. We have an ahref with the on click this parent submit ok. And then we have the form that is named with the action of logout pretty easy. So we can easily copy this line and then here's what you can do. Let's go to the reddit.js page again, close this up for the moment and right here instead of waiting for two seconds we want to wait for two selectors. So I'm going to say action equals to this and also it's a form 
so we want to wait for a form that has the action of logout. This may appear if the login is actually correct, but if it's not, then it's not going to show up. So this is going to throw an error as it is right now. But I'm going to copy this line of code right here and put a comma and also enter it right here. So basically we are waiting either for a form that has the logout action, either for an error. So we wait for those and then we check if the error is found. And if it's found, then we show this. Else we are going to say the account is logged in. Username is now logged in. Perfect. Now let's save this up and let's test it out. So I'm going to go right here in the debugger and start it again. Let's see what happens. Okay, it stopped and let's see what we have right here. Error from the website, wrong password. Okay, I'm going to stop it. And right here, I'm going to introduce my account. And don't worry, don't even try because this is just a temporary password. This is just a test and I'm going to save it. This is also just going to be changed after the recording of this video, so don't even bother. So let's test it out, make sure it works properly. So it tries to write up, it waits. Okay, and then as you can see, Gross Fabian is now logged in. Perfect. I'm going to stop it right here. And also the only thing that I want to add is if we have an error, then we want to process dot exit one, just so that we stop all the other executions after this line of code. And now I'm going to close up this video. This is the first part of the bot that we are trying to do that posts something into the Reddit page. So stay tuned for the next video. If you like this one, please don't forget to like and subscribe because this helps me a lot. So thank you.